a, an educational insurgency, a Christian nationalist educational insurgency. That's why you break government, right? Because if the government is no longer functioning, you can just build whatever you want on the ashes. Those are a lot of big words that he used, which I think are trying, and he's, I think, trying to sound smart. What he is saying is that he is going to deconstruct government, put in a far right extreme movement. It's almost not deconstructing, it's anti government. He's opposed to his own government. There's nothing uh, to me that's a bigger betrayal of our flag, our constitution, uh, the Pledge of Allegiance uh, that we all uh, take. But these are the people who they have put in. And, and the problem is the service member needs to know that the person who's going to make the call for them to go into battle, to defend our country, is putting country first. You don't see that with Pete Hexeth, that the law enforcement officer and the prosecutor, when they make a decision to indict somebody, that the individual who's leading the Department of Justice is credible and putting the country first. And again, you don't see that in Matt Gates. That's the issue with many of these nominees is they're not going to have credibility with the people who need to serve under them. And they're not going to have credibility from the American people who need to buy in to what our defense forces are doing or what our law enforcement are doing. And frankly, Joy, if you want to know the truth, when I talk to my colleagues at the congressional gym, when I talk to them in line at the Dunkin Donuts uh, in the Longworth building, they're laughing at these nominees. They think it's a joke. They're embarrassed. And again, I'm embarrassed for the American people who thought that bringing Donald Trump into power was going to serve them. It's just serving him. And by the way,